Well, so today I thought I'd make a video on my septum piercing. It's been a while since I've seen you guys, but I did get my septum pierced about a week and a few days ago. I'm making this video just because I think it'll be helpful. When I went to go get it pierced, I watched so many of these videos, so yeah. Um, so right away, I'm just gonna say I impulsively got my septum pierced. So when I did get it done, I literally called the place and got it the day I called the place. Um, so yeah, it happened really quick. I didn't really have time to like research anything. I literally watched like a few YouTube videos and then I just went. It'd be smarter to honestly schedule it like a week in advance or whatnot. Um, I'm just impulsive, so <laughs> I don't really recommend to do what I did unless, you know, whatever. So I do struggle with like really, really bad anxiety. I get anxiety attacks and like panic attacks. So I was really anxious to get this piercing just because I'm anxious that it was gonna get infected. I was anxious about the pain, all of that, but I really wanted the piercing and I've wanted it for a while. So when I was in the mood to get it, I that's why I just was like, I'm gonna go get it today. Pretty much um, what happened was I went to go get it and I was very, very anxious. Like I was having like actual like anxiety symptoms. Um, but this is normal for me whenever I get like tattoos and piercings. So I think if you struggle with anxiety, something to take note of is to kind of just try to breathe or meditate a little bit. Thankfully, the place I went to, um, my piercer, he did a little meditation with me beforehand just because I was freaking out. Um, so yeah, if you do struggle with anxiety and stress, I would recommend before getting any type of piercing or tattoo to like breathe breathe a little let's get into the important stuff the pain <laughs> so as you can see i have the very um i have the normal i think it's 16 gauge ring which they usually pierce for which they i think they usually use for piercings my nose is really small so he recommended me this um jewelry because i do think they have like a bigger gauge but it would have been too big for my nose like my in my face um so yeah i just have the regular jewelry so pain wise to be honest i literally didn't really feel it i know that sounds so like unhelpful but genuinely like it didn't hurt the thing that hurt the most was the clamp he used on my nose and when it went through it literally just feels like a piece of metal going through your nose like I didn't really feel like a sharp pain or anything. So if you're worried about the pain, I give it literally like a one or two out of 10 coming from me and I'm like a scaredy cat. So <laughs> um, I mean, I wouldn't worry too much about the pain. If anything, overthinking the pain might be more helpful because when you actually get it and it doesn't hurt, like you'll be chilling. But I would, um, Honestly, I could say that it hurt less than literally like a cartilage piercing, like in your ear. I have like a bunch of piercings in my ears, but it literally hurt less than that. The only thing that hurt about my piercing was the healing process. So I've only had it for like a week and like a few days, <laughs> but it's already like not really hurting anymore. But the first, the first four or five days, my nose was so sore, like it hurt kind of bad because if i were to like touch it like this or like you know like move it like this it literally hurts so bad and i'm really um sensitive to headaches and things like that so i did have a little bit of anxiety but that's also just like me <laughs> but other than that like piercing's perfect right now and it's been a week in a few days i know mostly people say like it takes like two weeks i know a lot of people say like it takes like two to three weeks for the pain to go away but it mine went away within like four to like five to six days so obviously everyone's different and the way your body is gonna heal is different for everyone so keep that in mind what i clean it with i literally clean it with this this is like what he recommended me but i already had it at home because i have other piercings so i i've just been like using this and in the shower, I use this vegan aftercare soap, which he gave to me. So 
I use this in the shower. I do like one drop, like one small drop. And then for each ratio, I do like three drops of water and I kind of just mix it and then like clean my piercing like this. What I've been doing, I cut a bunch of two by two square um, kind of paper towels, which is what my piercer recommended me. Obviously each piercer is gonna have a different aftercare. So I do this, I roll it like a, I roll it into like a tube and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. <laughs> I'm not actually gonna do it, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So this is the square and I literally roll it like this. LOL. Also, I didn't, uh, this is literally what he told me to do. So, and then I take this and I spray it on both ends and then I do this in my nose. So I like put it into my nose and I let it soak for five to 10 minutes. And I do that twice to three times a day. I only do it twice if I take a shower and I clean this in there, but I'll do it three times a day if I don't shower. And then I'll do this like under the sink, like under the water. But usually when I shower, that's like the best time I've had cleaning it just because everything gets like so like soft like all the crusties and stuff um personally i haven't really had any issues with smell or um you know how crusty it's gotten like it hasn't really been bad like i don't really get like a lot of like stuff in there the only issue i've had is that i do have allergies so when i blow my nose every time i have to like clean it out and then i take this and like clean it out again and then i rinse my nose because um you don't really want things in there to like get it infected anyway um i don't know if this video is helpful at all i think i'm just blabbering but if you're thinking about getting this piercing i highly recommend it to anybody it literally doesn't hurt that bad um i know other people really it just depends on your body um and honestly i have kind of a low pain tolerance and it really wasn't that bad the only bad thing about it is the aftercare like or the healing process, like that's the thing that got me because I literally like, my nose hurts so bad. <laughs> um, but other than that, like I think it's so worth it if you really wanna get it. I'm really anxious about getting it, but you really want it, I would just say to go get it. That's like how I was feeling. Like I was literally about to cancel my appointment because of how anxious I was, but then I got it and then it was fine. So, but yeah. Um, also a good thing about this piercing, you can flip it up when you want to. I don't flip it up and I don't want to flip it up because I don't like I he recommended me not to move it around too much for the first like three weeks. So I haven't been flipping it up. Um, I know a lot of people get it so they can flip it up. Um, after I got it pierced, he asked me if I wanted to flip it up or keep it down. And I was like, oh, just keep it down. But um, I know that depending on your piercer they might ask you if you want to keep it up during the healing process or down so i guess it just depends on where you go pretty much it i might do another update on the healing but honestly like it's healing really fast for me but i've always had fast healing processes with every single piercing i've had it really just depends on your body um but yeah maybe i'll make an update video maybe not but that's pretty much all i had to say about it um I hope this was helpful or made you feel a little less anxious about getting a septum piercing. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.